Good. Good. And then just play with her a little bit. Play with her. You can even just not play with the toy at all, but just play with her head, like push her around. Good. And all of a sudden you remove yourself. She's looking for more and you say, oh. Oh. Get it. Good. 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 And you can, does you could do separate sessions just like. I Yeah, for sure. For sure. Like part of it too is you put the energy and put the energy in and all of a sudden like you stop. Yeah. And she looks and goes, what happened? You go, if you out, that energy continues again. Get it perfect, beautiful. Cool. Ah, my divine. <laughs> Back in the heel, ball in left hand, perfect setup. A little bit of slow movement forward. Get it. Get. Perfect, beautiful, good. If you're looking to get over that head dip that she sort of yeah. does, build it slow, suspense, boom, and big, big kind of play stuff. Very slow forward movement. Get it. Yeah. Perfect. Beautiful. Like part of that's the intensity. When you start moving, oh bam! Ooh, movement is exciting. Like that's what's gonna draw her in and really suck her up into you. If you start moving and you get your five paces, she dips her head, you've lost the ability to create suspense there, which can drive your training. But if you start leaking in the movement slowly, dog goes, oh my god, bam! Woo! Like now you're bottling energy. With this, with this dog, like one of the things I'll practice is toggling my dog in and out of passive behavior. So I'm gonna walk with my dog in, the every, in, in everyday life and in, in my neighborhood and I don't want them to focus heal or offer me anything so I just go out on a walk. But if they're in, in a good place where I can ask them to come into obedience with me, I'll say, hey, you wanna go to work? Boom, they flip from we're just walking in everyday life to is it time, is it time? It's not contingent on me pulling a toy out or food, it's because I said so. So then they come and they perform and they say, all done, we go back to our walk. Right? That's kind of a more advanced behavior, but if we start to teach our dog that there's opportunities and those opportunities are opened up or created by me saying something civil, like you wanna do something, and then saying, okay, we're all done, they'll start to grab those little working moments a little bit more clearly. Okay, so even right now with this dog is kind of invested, if you want, if instead of having to pull a toy out or having food and get the dog engaged, Desley could start doing things like, hey, you want to go to work? And the dog goes, are you talking to me? Yeah, I do. And then she can come alive and say, yes, boom, let's go do stuff. And the dog goes, wow, that worked. She said, you want to go to work? You want to do something? I grabbed the moment. I stared up. I burned a hole in her because I was really intentional. She validated that. We had a nice little session for a minute. And then she said, all done. I guess that means there's no more opportunities to be had. And we were off the field. Boom. Really controlled, itemized the behaviors of the dog. Itemized the moment in time where I had the dog's undivided attention. We got a lot done. That's it. Later on, it's two minutes, four minutes, 10 minutes. Ring sport, 45 minutes. Nice.